you know, settling. Yeah, maybe maybe a little around the neckline, just to yeah, pull just it to set it down. Yeah, maybe just a little, but no, the rest of it, I don't, I don't think so. It's, can you stand up? <laughs> oh sure. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> we need the full. We need the catwalk. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, I just love it. I love the way it fits. I love the way it drapes. Yeah, nice. I want a little and longer because I I'm long. I don't like it too short. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Let's see. Yeah, it looks it looks fabulous. It looks fabulous, and that's the cottonwood color, correct? Yeah, yeah, the color that was modeled. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I needed something neutral. Yeah, yeah. no, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, well, thank you still admitting people so i want to see everybody else's and see where you're at i i will start by saying let's see how yeah, it's 12 o'clock um i will start by saying that i'm a little under the weather i oh. um, i had surgery last week to remove my gallbladder which it seems like every other person in the world has already had that surgery <laughs> i'm late to the party <laughs> but um i'm recovering from that everything's going to be fine, but just didn't get anything done on my sweater and haven't, you know, haven't done all the things that I'd planned on doing. Um, the key is to get better. Yes, that's the key and, and no expectations, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least low ones. <laughs> and the later you get to the party, the better your scar. My scar <laughs> is that big on my stomach. <laughs> Pardon? Say the last My thing. scar is that long. It goes all the way across my stomach. Nowadays, they do things beautiful. My oh, yeah, looks has three little scars. Yeah, I had, let's see, they made, they made five punctures in me. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four, five, just kind of in a little constellation. So I have a little bit of a <laughs> star yeah. constellation. My... <laughs> yeah, no, the surgery was the was the easy part, if you will. It was the getting diagnosed and the suffering that I went through for the five months beforehand when they kept misdiagnosing yeah. me. Definitely. That, that was problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, thankfully you're back and just go slow and easy. And if you need to cut it short today, cut it short. Oh, yeah. Get that's it so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Ruth. <laughs> really appreciate that. Well, it looks like people are still, I'm going to give them just... A yeah. couple minutes for everybody to get um to join and you look good for just having surgery i must say <laughs> oh thank you i've done a lot of resting and um yeah yeah and i've had you know my team to kind of backfill me and That's good. and a loving boyfriend to dote on me and take care of me so awesome I'm very grateful very grateful <laughs> I think I might even get out today for a little bit of a, a walk. Oh, I wanted to talk to anybody. What's, has anybody been in the um, storms or is every, everybody's okay? I'm assuming if you're on the call, you. We're in the middle of a storm now. Uh, where are you located again, Laura? Central Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, you guys, I saw the weather earlier. You're, you're heading for it. Yeah, yeah, the winds are crazy and the rain. I think we're done with our storms finally. I'm west coast of California and we're done with being wet, I think. Right. Yeah, we've had it. We're, we're ready. in New York and the sun is shining. Ah, <laughs> excellent. That's that's always good news. <laughs> My son's out by you though in California. I tell him he's got to go to your yarn shop and send me some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't have a, I slash we don't have a brick and mortar store. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're entirely online. And That's thank goodness. Awesome. Yeah, because That's... we we, un, we opened just, uh, I want to say two or three weeks before the lockdown started three oh. years ago. So I'm really grateful that we didn't have a brick and mortar. That would have been kind of scary. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So then I'll have to take his advice and order online. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm always I'm always there. You can always email um, support at tdknitter.com and I'll, you know, they'll if if I don't catch it myself, um, my team will send me the, you know, any questions oh, I'll be able Thank to help you. out. Yeah. 
Where do you ship from? Where are you located? Um, I'm located in Ventura, California. Oh, okay. My husband went to um, Ventura, let's see, Camarillo High and then Ventura Junior College. He's from your neck of the woods. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all connected. Yeah. Ex exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I have, I just, I've been here now for, is it 12 years, 11, 12 years. And I, I just can't imagine living anywhere else, to be honest. I, it's I a nice area. Yeah. 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 We went to his high school reunion a few years ago and yeah, it's a nice, you're considered the central coast too. We are also up in Santa Cruz. So it's funny. It's a long central coast, but you have really nice, you have a little nicer weather down where you are at. Yeah. yeah, I lived actually in Santa Cruz. My son went to school okay. in Santa Cruz grade school, and I I actually lived in Watsonville at the time. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, so we're like close, right next door to Watsonville. So yeah, yeah. that's a area too. But it's been very wet. Of course, it was so dry forever. We complained about the drought, and now we're complaining about the floods. So yeah, we're never happy. <laughs> are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Goldilocks weather. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, so let me put you on gallery. I'm I'm not going to demonstrate anything really today. I don't have my my extra camera set up um, to to uh, uh, show you anything because I just wanted to kind of keep things simple for myself. But um, how many of you have been on all of the calls, or at least been on one of the previous calls? I so think. is is there anybody here that this is their first time? Okay. Karen, Corrine, Shar, hi Shar. Okay, so let's let's start with maybe do you have any questions, you ladies who haven't been on previous calls? I'm assuming you might be joining, you know, to to ask some questions maybe that are from some of the uh, earlier uh, stages along the way. And you've got all sorts of experts sitting here <laughs> who can help you. So is it, uh, it says iPad 10. I saw your hand up. Am I correct? You have a question? Um, oh, muted. Yeah, yeah. there you go. There. You unmuted? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we're glad to have you here. What is your question? Um, oh, well, I don't really have a question. I was just hoping I might pick up some um, tips <laughs> Absolutely. along the way. Where, yeah. where are you in your sweater in your sweater? Um, well, I just I just started, I haven't done the the sleeves yet but I joined the um the net or the shoulder seams today I've never heard of a three needle bind off before Ooh. so I went to YouTube <laughs> and got that figured out and I just started the um the neckline putting the ribbing picking up yes yes which sure. I'm not great at but I think it's, I think it's okay. Oh, it looks good. It looks perfect. Yeah, it looks nice. So, yes. The main, the main thing that you need to, here, I should have put you on spotlight, I'm sorry. Um, the main thing that you have to remember when you pick up is just that you don't put too many stitches around the neck to where it's kind of loose. You know what I mean? You 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 want it to kind of fit tight. I mean, you don't want to fit too tightly so much that it puckers. Right, right. Okay. I, I did try to space it. So I got the right number of stitches that the pattern called for. Perfect. So Perfect. I um, I hope I'm okay and I don't have to take it out when I'm done. No, I, I'm sure you'll be fine. I didn't say anything wrong with it. I was just just yeah. using that opportunity okay. to just um, something to to look for. Okay, any anyone else? I could. Oh, there we are, Merritt. Let me. Yes. Quit. Um, my question. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I've had a couple of false starts with this. Um, and so. 
my concern is the ribbing part because it doesn't stretch out as much as you'd like it to. Now, I have a hip that's about 46 inches. My problem is, is that doing the medium, that's going to be really tight. And in fact, it's not even going to go around me. <laughs> And in terms of the ribbing, and I want to know because it does kind of suck in a little bit when you have ribbing anyway, and you can with this yarn you can only stretch it so much. So I don't know how to work that in and what to do with that. Do I do like a larger size for the ribbing part only, and then make decreases for that setup round um, in order to satisfy my real size for my bust? Or what do I do with that? Any yeah. suggestions? I think is there was at least one uh, knitter who did that. Is any is, is she here today? Laura, is that how you did it? Do you want to speak? To, do you want to speak to that subject? Okay. Hi. Um, with with my jeans on, my hips are forty five inches. Okay. I actually did the small, and it fits just fine. It stretches enough and it fits just fine. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. See, my so com Go ahead. Yeah, my comment to that was going to be is I know the cotton yarn, it doesn't stretch a whole lot when you're looking at it here. Right. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty right. firm, but you get it knitted up and and then if you particularly if you wet block it, and we'll talk about mm -hmm. the different ways to block right. it later, but particularly if you block it, cotton can really, really stretch. Mm -hmm. I had a, a knitter contact me a couple days ago and say that they'd finished their sweater, but that it was just huge on them. And mm -hmm. I think what happened, she can't, she couldn't be here today. So she was thinking it was a lost cause and that she's gonna, going to have to unravel it. I, I, ho I hope that she doesn't do that yet. But um, when, when you get it wet, it stretches so much. And then once you block it, it will have some, it will, it doesn't have memory, but it will stay the way you block it. Now, every time you wash it, you're going to have to block it block again. It, right. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be so worried about that. I think I would be more worried about it stretching out and being, you know, gargantuan by the time you see how much see how much it gives. Oh, okay. This? okay. It 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 stretches a lot. It it the ribbing it gives a lot. There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, you of think it won't, but look at that. Yeah. 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 It well, gives that's, a helpful. Lot. that's helpful to see that because I was a little yeah. concerned because I wanted to know if no. it does it suck in because a lot of times There's ribbing kinds of tends to suck in when you do no. ribbing of any kind. No, and, it gives it stretches you know, a lot. So I was just looking. Yeah, at I, I would. Uh, <laughs> I, I would it, think that. It, or if you're even close to meeting gauge, if you've got yeah. 40 inch hips, the, I think the medium will be fine. Yeah, that's what I'm doing is medium. I'm actually yeah. I'm 40, thighs. a 44 hip. Yeah. And okay. I think I made it maybe one you size bigger. Got but quite a bit of bees, yeah. But there's I mean, you can see this puppy goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of room. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That helps me to nope. visualize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, there's nothing worse than finishing a sweater and then finding out it doesn't fit you. Um, yeah. Well, I know that's the problem. You know, you yeah. want to do the best you can with what you got. You know, and right. <laughs> and sometimes, but, sometimes you can you can sort of try it on a little bit, slip it over your yeah. hips, and kind of see as you're knitting, so that you don't invest the entire sweater in into a invest yeah. knitting the the wrong size of the entire sweater. But do keep in mind, cotton can. Uh, uh, grow. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Anyone else? Yeah, I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Who's? Oh, here we go. Here. Yeah, I've I've uh, done the neck band and and the body. I would like the to make the sleeves about six inches longer. Um, even if I have to not do ribbon, but put it on stockinette stitch, would that be possible? 
Yeah, I wish I had the picture of someone that didn't do the knit along. It was somebody who just commented on, you know, and they said, oh, look, see what I've done. And and theirs had a sleeve that came down, oh, probably like this, you know, it, it came down quite far. I, th I think they put a little ribbing on it too. I think I would put ribbing on it just so that it kind of finishes it off and maybe pulls it in a little bit, you know. At the, at the end of it? Mm -hmm. and, and should I decrease along the way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I probably would just I did. Oh, is that what you did, Laura? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. Okay, you did stockinette stitch and and then a little bit of ribbing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I decreased. I I stockinette for two inches, and then I started mm -hmm. decreasing every fourth row. Okay. So I picked up sixty four inches, and now I'm down to fifty inches, and I'm going to do a bit of ribbing. Okay, great. I, but it's it's like oh, a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it looks good. And it fits. It's great. Very cute. So cute, yeah. Laura. Yeah. yeah. Very cute. Okay, great. And you made the small, Laura? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the size I'm working on. I would normally be a medium, but I also chose to do the small cuz I was afraid it would just be baggy and and yeah. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Um, I haven't knit anything for a long time, so um, I'm not confident about this. I just finished my ribbing, so I'm just ready to do the body and my swatch. Um, comes out to the right count, um, both directions. But if I hold it up, I, it's a little bit airy. <laughs> I can kind of see air through it. And I'm just wondering if that's what the fabric, for people who've done more of this, if, if that's what the fabric looks like in this. Well, I, let me see, what does mine look like? Oh, this, that's right. I was, okay. Mine doesn't count. Yeah. If I, when I was knitting left-handed, mine is, mine is airy. When I was knitting right-handed, it was too tight. Um, I prefer it a little bit airier just personally, because it's a summer sweater and mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't want that, that really thick feeling. Um, how does everyone else feel about it? How are the, how are their sweaters coming out? How's their gauge coming out? I'm a tight knitter. I always have to go up a needle usually. So I'm not a good one to ask. Right, right. <laughs> Another thing is if you, and I was going to show this today, so I, I hesitate saying it and then not being able to give you the example. But um, if you swatch by knitting in the round, you'll get a more accurate gauge as to what you will actually be knitting like when you're knitting in the round. Oh, because you're always doing you're always knitting and you don't have that pearl to pull things down so if you do gauge it in the round and it's even looser than what you've got going on here you might want to you know I'm not sure I would want it you know like a netting you know mm -hmm. so if that does happen I would consider probably going down a needle size um, okay and you can find you know you can find directions on YouTube for swatching in the round Mm -hmm. it's pretty easy to do you just you knit across and then you just pull your circular needle through and leave a you know leave a leave a um, loop of thread and then start knitting that same direction again and and then leave another loop you know and and keep um and then you can cut those loops when you're done block it and see um how, how it looks how it looks okay but oh. nobody looks at this and says, oh, that's way too loose. <laughs> Is that? I don't. No, I don't. That's normal? No, it's that looks like mine. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. There's mine. You can't see through it, so a little breathing room mm -hmm. is nice. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It looks great. Pretty yeah. colorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm beautiful. 
Um, now, as far as blocking goes, um, and I wanted to have tested this out on a couple of different pieces to be able to give you the 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 results, and I and I wasn't able to do that. But here's what I I would do personally: if if you finish your sweater and you feel like it's a little tight and you want a little more ease in it. You feel like you've made it, you know, maybe slightly smaller than what you'd like. And you just want a little bit more ease. Then I would wet block it. Just, you know, get it good and wet carefully. Don't wring it, pull it out very carefully, put it on a towel, roll it, that sort of thing. Very carefully. Don't stretch it, but then just pin it gently, you know, to the measurements that you want. Um, and that way it will give you a lot of room to be able to play with it. Now, if it turns out just the way you want it and you just want to freshen it up a little bit and crisp it up just a little bit and let those, you know, fibers and those stitches kind of relax and look all nice and even, then I would pin it dry onto some boards and lay a cold cloth, a, a, a cloth wrung out of cold water like you know a, a thin towel or something like that and then steam it with your iron hold it above or steam it with one of those clothes steamers and let that just kind of crisp and, and let the the uh, stitches relax a little bit and freshen it up that's personally what I would do um you're not going to ruin it by wet blocking it but um I, I would probably be gentle on it. <laughs> I mean, I, I treat my knitting things like heirlooms and I mean, I like to wear them because I believe they should be worn, but I like to treat them kind of carefully. So that's how I try it. Let's see some questions here in the chat. How would one go about making the sleeves longer? Karen, did you? This is a different Karen that's asking that question. Oh, okay. So did you hear, did I, did I just admit you or, or did you hear what Laura was doing and explaining? No, sorry. Okay. Let me, um, what Laura did, where's Laura again? Oh, there you are. <laughs> um, Laura, do you mind holding your, your, um, sweater up again very cute I like that yeah. so Karen she just she just kept knitting down and she, you decreased oh about how many stitches per uh, one two three four five six times total you just oh, and I two in stitches pair. yeah okay so 12 yeah 12 stitches over like what 30 rows or something or yeah you don't um, have to you don't have to get the exact but Karen do you see what she did seven seven Is inches that, so did you create an actual seam and then a sleeve because what I just wanted was that little cap sleeve to be a little longer so it falls a little lower on my shoulder does that make sense yeah do you want it as long as Laura's or do you want it maybe half as long Laura is yours um like you just followed the same or you or you added a sleeve Oh, you added, yeah. yeah, you added to it. You added a sleeve. Right. Exactly. Yes, see. Okay. And what I wanted to do, see where your seam is and where you added a sleeve. I just wanted to extend that shoulder area a little bit longer. I don't want it with a full sleeve. I just want that cap sleeve to be a little longer on my shoulder. So and I was not sure where to add. Just keep knitting. Cast on, just cast on like 20 yeah. or six or something. Right. Pick up. You just picked yeah. up, right, Laura? That's what I mean, pick up. Yes, yes. After the three needle bind off, then I picked up the 64 in, uh, stitches and I just stockinette stitched for two inches and started decreasing every four rows. Do you decrease just at the, at the um, underarm or do you do? Yeah, that's what I did. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. So I just, I, I'm kind of fudging it. Um, from the From the beginning, I went eight stitches and then I decreased and then I went around until I was at, you know, I left eight more stitches and decreased again. 
So a pair of decreases, it's going to kind of be under the arm, but not exactly under the arm. Mm -hmm. You pretended like you did it at, at the seam, kind of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it I, wouldn't I, be, Karen, it wouldn't be wrong to, to put four stitches in between or six or eight. You know what I mean? You you can just choose how 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 wide you want those decreases to be uh, separated by. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't know okay. what the standard was. I just didn't want a bunch of bunchy stitches right under my arm. So I spread it out a little bit. No, you, okay. you, you did beautifully. And Karen, if, if, if I was wanting to do just a little bit extra, like maybe two inches extra, not, not a ton extra, but just a little bit extra, then I would yeah. start decreasing a little sooner than Laura did simply mm -hmm. because I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want it to start flanging out before you end it. Does that make okay. sense? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, the three needle bind off. Yeah, there's a there's a YouTube video. I can find it, I'm sure. There's probably dozens of them. There are several. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Oh goodness, what did I do? Okay. Well, my computer's not happy right now, so I'm going to just let it be for a second. But um, sleeves longer. Actually, my computer's frozen a little bit. Okay, so let's see, Juanita, how about your sweater? How does it? How's it coming along? She's muted. She's muted. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't ask her to unmute right now. My computer is frozen. Juanita, we can't hear you. Juanita, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. you have to unmute. <laughs> Push your microphone. Push your Look up at your microphone. Look up at your microphone. And unmute it. Tap your microphone and somewhere. Okay. We can't well, hear that's you. Fine. That, we can't hear that's fine. That's um, fine. And I've got to wait until my computer decides my com to cooperate, but. Um, we can hear you. We okay. can hear you. Any other Good, okay. I'll just keep talking until. Yeah, we can hear you. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you. Is Jennifer here today? I don't see her. I don't see her. No, Jennifer. I don't see her either. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else want to show us their sweater? See us where, show us where they're at. Oh, pretty. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Merritt, I love that color. Is that yeah. the, is that the, uh, uh, I think I got it. No, no. Can you find Mayfair? Mayfair, yeah. The blue. This is my third fall start. <laughs> oh. oh I think you have it this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would rather, I would rather start three times and kind of get it right and feel comfortable with it than just mm -hmm. barrel on through. I know when I was young and foolish, <laughs> now I'm old and foolish, but when I was young and foolish, I would sometimes just kind of barrel through and, and, you know, waste a lot of time. And mm -hmm. so I think it's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Besides that, the joy is in the making, you know, the yeah. joy. It's the process. It's the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think I've got myself unmuted now. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, I had, had did have it muted. I wasn't aware of that. I about the back's done. The front's halfway up. Uh, but I had to stop and work on a, a shawl for a friend of mine who's going through cancer treatment. So I'm, 
that put the sweater got put on hold. Sure, sure. No, that's that's great. How sweet of you to to help during such a difficult time. Very nice. Did anyone do theirs in the round? I did. I did too. Yeah, I, I, I hate pearls. I did, I did it also. Mine's in the round. Yeah, I can do it in the round. I always do. Yeah. Kathy, how are you? Are you wearing the sweater? Where's Kathy? There's, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do anything. My computer is completely frozen. <laughs> is there a, <laughs> she's dancing. Point. Oh, there, yes. <laughs> oh, pretty. Beautiful. Uh, what size? It's a small. What color is it?